DreAllDay.com. What's up, y'all? Dre Ball with DreAllDay.com. We're going to get into this uh, post-workout protein shake that I like to take here. First of all, disclaimer before we get into this video, I am not a nutritional expert, I'm not a supplement expert, and I absolutely will not tell you what supplements you should be taking. Don't send me it, tell me what your situation is, and ask me what supplements you should take, because I don't know, and I'm not qualified to tell you what to take. If you want some information, the world we live in today, all the information you want is at your fingertips. So if you're watching this video, you want the internet. So you can find anything you want to find out about. You can find the information. It's somewhere online. All you got to do is look it up, Google it, and read the information that's available to you. Now, let's get into this. This is a sh shake that I like to make for myself after I work out, usually after I lift or do some conditioning workouts. This, this is all the ingredients that's going to go into it for me personally. First thing you need, you need to have a blender. You gotta have a blender to make these shakes because you gotta take the the solid foods that you put into it and you gotta blend it all up together with the powders and stuff. You wanna get that mixed up into the liquids to all blend into one shake. So you gotta have a blender. If you ain't got a blender, you can get one for like $30 on Amazon or at Walmart or wherever, wherever you choose to make your purchases. Now, first thing I'm gonna do in this blender here is I'm gonna pour a little bit of juice. Now with the liquid that you use, it could be orange juice, it could be regular water. This right here is a, some V8 Splash Strawberry Kiwi, just what, what I happen to have today. You got to play around with how much liquid you pour in there depending on how thick or how thin you like your shakes. Me, I like to make mine so that I can drink it out the cup just like a regular drink. Some people like this thick where it's like the kind that you need a straw, like a water ice or something or gelato or something like that. But I like mine thin, and I can drink it almost like it's juice. So you're going to pour whatever amount of juice you need to pour in there. You can get a measuring cup and measure how much you want to put in there. Second thing I like to put in mine is a banana. Banana is my favorite fruit. So I'm going to take this banana and drop that in there. That's going to be part of my shake. Now because the banana is at a room temperature and the powder is at a room temperature, the juice is the only thing that's actually cold in the drink and I want my drink to be cold so what I do is put some ice in there and I got one frozen strawberry I got buy a pack of frozen strawberries from Target or wherever you want to buy them from your local supermarket any kind of frozen fruit I find the more frozen fruits you put in the drink the thicker it makes it so I only put one single strawberry in there if I put more it starts to get too thick and I don't like it too thick so I'm gonna pour this in there the ice and the strawberry goes in and now as far as the supplements, this is protein. This is ISO 100, hydrolyzed 100% 100 whey protein isolate. This and this that I'm putting in there is creatine. Made by Muscle Farm. Muscle Farm with a pH that is. Creatine and protein, whey protein. These are the only two supplements that I'm putting into this drink as far as what they're for. Creatine helps your body absorb protein better. And protein is muscle builder not exactly doesn't mean that you're trying to lift weights or get bigger or bulkier but it's for recovery also if you work out your muscles are at a deficit after you worked out so the protein is like food for your muscles to build them back stronger doesn't mean you're trying to gain weight or get big and bulky you see me i'm not a big bulky guy but i take protein to recover because i work out so much so and i get both of these from a website called bodybuilding.com Go to bodybuilding.com. They got every supplement in the world. They got all the information. You got to read it and figure out what you need for you. If you don't understand it, don't buy it. You got to get the information for yourself. Like I said, it's all available for you. All you got to do is look for it. So, both of these come with scoops in them. I'm going to get a scoop of protein with flavor. This is gourmet pina colada that I'm taking this time. And with the creatine, this particular creatine, you put three scoops in there. So I'm going to drop three scoops scoops of creatine, protein, that's it. Get it all into my blender. And we're going to blend this up. This ain't going to take but a minute. Yes, yeah, so that is done. And I can see, I can tell the consistency of it as soon as it's done. Like I said, I like to keep mine more like a a drink than like a slush. I don't want to have to use a straw to drink it and I don't want it to be thick when I'm drinking it. I want it to be like a milkshake kind of even though there's no milk in it. 
So I'm gonna get all this in there. Let's see what it tastes like. It tastes good to me. So to review, it's post-workout protein shake. You get some juice, whatever liquid you prefer. You figure out the amount that works best for you. I got creatine, protein. I got these from bodybuilding.com. Go to the website, read, look up the information you want, depending on what you're looking for. Your fitness goals, yours in particular, not mine, but yours. You need a blender. Get some ice in there to keep it cold. Frozen fruit if you want to put that in there. Banana if you want to put that in there. If you want, you can just have water and the protein and the powder. Water and the supplements, whatever supplements you happen to be taking. But that's that. A lot of people ask me about supplements. Do I take any? So here's the video telling you about it. Again, I can't tell you what to take. You got to look up what works for you in your particular situation. All the information is available to you if you just look for it and read it. That's the hard part. So that's that. Work on your game. DreAllDay.com You watched me work on my game. Now it's time to work on yours. The Hoop Handbook is a series of workout programs straight from my own personal experience working out and training on every aspect of basketball. Ball handling, shooting, scoring moves, scoring over bigger defenders, the crossover, post moves, your weak hand, off the court training, dunking, vertical, all of it's covered. All you got to do is follow the program step by step. The Hoop Handbook. You want to add a guaranteed 10 inches to your vertical, not a maybe 10 inches, a guaranteed 10 inches to your vertical. Go to DreAllDay.com slash jump. Get the jump manual. When you get it, I'm going to give you five free hoop handbooks or any free DVD. All you got to do is email me the receipt. DreAllDay.com slash jump. Get your bounce up. And as he comes back to your right, you just reach the ball right over his head and finish the shot.